Have you ever wondered what makes a plant truly happy? Those magical days when your plants reach for the sky, praying to the heavens with leaves spread wide. Some might call it a green thumb, but I believe anyone can grow happy, thriving plants once you understand the science of happy plants. So whether you grow indoors or outdoors, organically or synthetically, there are three pillars of plant health that every grower needs to master. Balanced nutrition, a healthy immune system, and pest defense. These three pillars form the foundation of my upcoming in-person hands-on class where I'll be touring the United States to teach you science-backed techniques for healthier plants and better yields. Don't miss out. With over eight years of experience in commercial cultivation and consulting on thousands of happy plants, I'm thrilled to share my knowledge with you. This is your chance to learn, collaborate, and grow with a community of passionate gardeners. And there's so many exclusive perks for attendees. This isn't just a class, it's an experience. When you sign up, you'll receive the Science of Happy Plants ebook, your guide to healthier plants, the Living Soil ebook, which was from my last masterclass, has everything you need to know about living, thriving soil, along with the Organic Cannabis Pest Guide that I wrote for my Integrated Pest Management class. It contains proven strategies to manage pests safely and sustainably, along with over $100 worth of free sustainable gardening products, including a sample of my immunity from Happy Plant Organics. And raffle tickets for premium prizes like grassroots fabric beds, seeds from Seedsman for my upcoming citizen science project, Blaze 2025, and so much more. I'm talking the stash blend from Mr. Grow It, Bigfoot Mycorrhiza, um, SD Microbes Vermi Compost. We have tons, so many sponsors. So there's enough free product there that it'll pay for the freaking class tickets. So this class is three hours long, but rest assured it will be broken up into one hour long sections with snacks and, you know, breaks interspersed. So in the first hour, we're going to cover all things nutrition. So how do we achieve balanced nutrition on our plants? Now this begins with proper pH. Did you know that your soil or water's pH directly affects your plant's ability to absorb nutrients. So if your pH is too low or too high, you can lock out vital nutrients like phosphorus, calcium, magnesium, leading to deficiencies, even if your soil is full of those nutrients. So understanding the pH of your soil is super important for growing any crop. Providing your plants with the right pH balance in your soil is the key to unlocking the full potential of your plants. But what exactly is soil pH and why does it matter for happy plants? Let's explore the basics of pH now and how you can measure, maintain, and adjust the pH levels in your cannabis garden. So the pH of your soil has been considered the master soil variable. It influences your plant's health, and the biological, chemical, and geological processes that take place in your soil. This means that soil pH levels can have an influence on a wide variety of activities within your soil. And all of these activities influence your plant's health. And the pH of your soil can be a good indicator for the health of your soil as well. So there's a wide range of activities that are influenced by pH. For instance, how much nitrogen is available in your soil for plants to use, or even how organic materials and heavy metals either break down or build up in the soil. pH can influence the activity of enzymes in the soil, um, the availability of organic materials, um, how microbes interact with one another and their environment. So all of this is influenced by pH, which in turn influences our nutrient availability. Now, depending on if you're synthetically 
growing plants or organically in living soil, you're either going to focus on your water's pH or your soil's pH. And in this class, I'll show you how to test your soil pH, how to amend it sustainably, safely over time, what microbes prefer different pHs, and how that in turn is going to influence your nutrient balance. Once your pH is balanced, it's time to make sure that the nutrients are balanced in relationship to one another. So in this class, we're going to break down Mulder's chart to explore how nutrients interact, including synergies and antagonisms. So this means when there's too much of one nutrient, it can block out another. For instance, if you have too much magnesium, you can lock out calcium. In this specific instance, it's because those two are cations competing for the same cation exchange space on your roots. So we can ex we're going to examine the cation exchange capacity of your soil and learn all about how cations and anions interact with one another, your soil and your plant, as well as how nutrient mobility impacts your plant. So You'll also learn about cations and anions, as well as how nutrient mobility impacts your plant. Did you know calcium is immobile in plants? This means that it must always be available. So it's highly mobile in water. So by providing water often, making sure there's enough water in your pore space, your plant will have access to calcium if it's available in the soil. And in other plants like tomatoes, we run into issues like blossom and rot, and many people think this is a calcium deficiency, where it's a manifestation of calcium deficiency, most likely due to irregular watering because of that mobility issue. It can't move it within the plant, so you start seeing deficiencies in blossom and rot when in reality you have enough calcium in your soil it's just not available because your watering game is an on point so watering is going to be a whole nother section we're going to talk about in this balancing of nutrition because it's so important one of the biggest mistakes home gardeners make is either overwatering or underwatering another example of nutrient mobility that i see a lot of gardeners run into um, is nitrogen deficiency and toxicity. So nitrogen, on the other hand, is very mobile in a plant. And so when we see uh, nitrogen deficiency, the plant will pull nitrogen from the older leaves to support new growth, which is why chlorosis from nitrogen begins at the bottom of your plant and moves its way up. We're gonna discuss all 18 essential nutrients, their role in plant health, how to optimize their availability. You'll leave this class knowing how to diagnose and solve nutrient deficiencies and toxicities, balance nutrient ratios like calcium and magnesium, you know, being a three to one for optimal nutrient uptake, and that's three parts calcium and one part magnesium. Kind of ranges between a two to one and five to one, depending on what part of the cycle you're in. Um, we're gonna create your own low cost nutrient regimen, saving you hundreds of dollars over time. We are gonna talk all about how to balance your nutrients in your plant from uh, cation exchange capacity to the pH of your soil and water, to reading a soil test, how to amend efficiently and properly um, before, and then we're gonna move on to the second pillar which is a healthy immune system. Now, a strong immune system is a plant's best defense against stress and disease. From heat and drought stress, to pest pressure, to fungal pathogens. I'll show you how to boost your plant's immune system using specific microbes and amendments that naturally enhance your plant's hormones, like salicylic acid and jasmonic acid, which are responsible for communicating about what's going on inside the plant with the outside world. So these compounds not only protect your plant, but they also improve the flavor and aroma by increasing terpene production and other secondary metabolites. 
So that's why I have used immunity in every single feeding in my garden for the last five years. And now you can too, because I will be giving every student a free bag of immunity. So this plant tonic increases nutrient availability while boosting both jasmonic acid and salicylic acid, promoting a healthier immune system, as well as increasing terpenes. It contains several beneficial microorganisms as well. And so plants and microbes communicate in a fascinating way. We'll dive into how you can leverage this relationship to grow healthier, more resilient plants. A robust microbiome is your plant's first line of defense against pests, pathogens, and environmental stress. So we're going to cover your plant's microbiome. We're going to we're going to cover plant hormones. We're going to learn how to achieve the best immune system for our plants for the happiest plants you can grow. Finally, we're going to move on to the last pillar of class, which is pest defense. I know this one's going to take forever and I love bring all your pest questions. This is my favorite part of consulting is helping people with pests because no grower wants to deal with mold, spider mites or other pests, but Honestly, they happen, especially if you're growing outside, there's no way to be pest free. So in the final hour of this class, I'll teach you actionable strategies to prevent and manage pests sustainably and affordably. So whether you're battling powdery mildew or preventing spider mites, you'll walk away with techniques that work for any grower. From specific microbes like trachyderma and bacillus for outcompeting pathogens, which check out my video, beneficial microbes every gardener should be using to learn more about just a few. Um, we're also going to cover homemade and low cost preventative and treatment sprays, as well as the best pest management plans to ensure happy, thriving plants. So we are covering all things pest management, you're going to receive the organic cannabis pest guide, which comes with, it's a PDF that includes all of the product links. So it makes it really simple and easy to find the most cost effective, sustainable IPM products. That is totally part of the class. But seats are limited, so grab your ticket today. Use code QUEEN for 15% off. Sign up at this link and your please join the community and learn more. So you're like, what if you're not teaching a class in my area? The first class is March 8th in San Diego. Then we're going to be moving to Virginia, going to the East Coast. Um, we'll have classes in Denver. We'll have classes in Olympia. We're going to have class probably in Ohio, Buffalo, New York, possibly Michigan. So reach out to me. Let me know if there's an area that you want me to come. But don't fret. If I can't make it to your state, I will be giving away my entire online course collection with over 20 plus hours of curriculum and recorded education next week. So tune in Monday at 420 for a free class bundle giveaway that contains every single class I've taught and recorded online from growing outdoors to KNF with Chris Trump to integrated pest management. So tune in next Monday at 420 Pacific Standard Time to my live stream. Don't miss your chance. Details and links for everything I covered are also in the description. Please, if this is something that sounds fun to you, if you've learned anything from me, share, like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and let's grow happy plants together.